My dear friends, I hope this finds you well. Now that it's kind of cooled down, I mean, for those of you not in Melbourne, it just dropped about 20 degrees in about an hour. So the day was started off 40 degrees, and now it's barely 20 degrees, which is an incredible, incredible turn of events. And so I thought, now that it's cooled down, I took the dog for a little bit of a walk here. Yeah, that's the dog, that's Suki, everyone. And I thought I'd just steal a moment to share a quick Dvar Torah. Now, last night, my wife organized a Thanksgiving dinner with some friends, all of whom have at least one partner who is uh, American, uh, as has been the, the custom. And, you know, I guess I wasn't really paying attention, been somewhat busy, and I thought that today was Thanksgiving. It's always the last Thursday in November, and whatever, for whatever reason, we're doing it last night. I thought, okay, we can't do it on the day, we're going to do it a bit early. But I thought that today was Thanksgiving. And so after my meditation minyan in Yavne, I shared a very inspiring Thanksgiving Dvar Torah. And I'm not going to tell you what I said. And then at the end, one of the students said, Rav, that was really inspiring, really beautiful Dvar Torah, as they always are, of course. Uh, but today's not Thanksgiving. Next week is. And I looked at the calendar, and sure enough, Next week is Thanksgiving. And I said, oh, man, I was planning on giving the same Dvar Torah. Rabbis recycle. I hate to say it, but we recycle. Uh, I was planning on giving the same Dvar Torah on the, this, little, uh, this little video thing. So now I, I don't have a Dvar Torah anymore. What am I going to do? You know what? This will be one of those weeks that I skip. What do you think, Suki? And I thought I wouldn't give a Dvar Torah this week. But then I remembered, you know, on occasion, I don't really know who's watching these videos. I don't know. You know, not everyone presses like and not everyone comments. Uh, and on occasion, I will get just random people. What are you doing, dude? What's he doing? I'll get some random people and say, hey, I saw your, your, uh, your video. I really liked that. I thought that was interesting. And it's just like the randomest people. And, you know, I guess that reminds me of, you know, never underestimate the impact of the things that we do. This is not to say that I'm saying anything uh, too deep or meaningful in these videos, but people are watching, you know. I don't know, you know, it wouldn't hurt them to, to chuck a like here and there. I mean, come on, what do you think, Tsuki? Exactly. You know, so we have to re recognize and remember the impact that our, our actions can make. And, and there's no question that today uh, is a day and age in which, you know, we can, s you know, press a button and our words get sent all over the world, which is an incredible thing. Our impact is so profound. And, and it, of course, lahavdil, it's not a great comparison, but it reminds me of a beautiful idea about Sarah, about our, our mother, Sarah, not my wife, but our the Sarah Imenu. Uh, it says that she lived... 127 years and there's a uh, powerful midrash that asks about Esther, Queen Esther. It says, why did she merit to rule over 127 kingdoms? In the book of, you know, obviously in the Gilat Esther, the story of Purim, it says that Esther ruled over 127 kingdoms. And they say it was because of Sarah's 127 years meaning Sarah lived her life in such a way that it had a far-reaching impact, so much so that many, many years later, there was a woman named Esther who, through divine providence and her making a step in courage, she was able to rule over the world, rule over 127 kingdoms and have a really profound impact on this world. And so this is a, that's a, a really incredible reminder that our actions and the way that we live our life can have an impact on other people's lives. And sometimes we don't see it. Not everyone clicks like, not everyone shares the video, but our actions do have an impact. And so let's learn from social media. Let's use our, uh, you know, the, 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 what's the word I'm looking for? Let's use the influence, that's the word. Let's use the influence that we have for the good. Put good things out there in this world. We never know, we never know. Those of you who are listening are already four, four minutes and 39 seconds in. Good on you. Chuck me a like. What do you say? Say hi. Tell me what I should be talking about. Tell me what's on your mind. I'll know that you made it to the end if you say hi to me. I wish you all a Shabbat Shalom. Bless you all to make the most powerful impact in this world. 
starts with little decisions. All the best.